We all know that an ideal shooting team includes more than one person. You want someone to run second camera, someone to take care of camera movement, someone to set up complicated equipment and reset shots. However, the all too often truth is we are a dynamic team of one. This might not come as a surprise, but I'm kind of small. Hauling camera equipment can be a challenge, but the second shooter is a lightweight motion control system. I can haul it plus all the other gear I would need to make this work in a backpack. Helpful, right? Especially for remote shoots. Easy enough to take with you anywhere you go. And it's quick, as in pull it out of your pack for the first time, then up and running in five minutes. Easy peasy. And it's intuitive too, so the learning curve is quick if, say, you need to teach a PA how to use it. And because it's so easy to learn, you can use it to focus on the story rather than living inside the gear. With the three axis system, you can get a bunch of different shots, including slides, pans, tilts, and even parallax type moves. Beyond how easy this thing is to set up and use, it's diverse. It can handle the monster cameras and the itty bitty little cameras. Look how cute this little guy is. I recently used Second Shooter in our storytelling parade film about a nonprofit called Chess for Success. The nonprofit serves school aged children in an after school program, teaching them chess as a means to develop important life skills, say, problem solving or strategizing. As a filmmaker, I'm faced with the challenge of how to represent the story with camera movement. The Second Shooter, with its very precise movements, are the perfect tool for this. What we've done here is replicate the same precise camera moves over and over. We then layer the images over one another and lower the opacity and pose to produce the decision-making process represented visually. 15 pieces, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Eight pawns, two knights, rooks, bishops, one queen. All to protect this one. And because this was controlled by the second shooter, it repeated the move perfectly time after time. Without the second shooter, producing this shot would have been impossible. But beyond getting the best story relevant footage easily and without extra hands, the second shooter has a lot of thoughtful little details. It has a magnetic controller. You can easily switch the direction of the control buttons. And for you time-lapse shooters, it's got a built-in flashlight and dim LED lights to help prevent light pollution. And there you have it, a whole second shooter inside your backpack. Okay guys, that's not gonna work.